Well, this week, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres called Rishi Sunak radical and dangerous, creating an economic mess by his proposals to open new oil drilling in the North Sea. Now, I don't know if it's the same Rishi Sunak, that's our Prime Minister, who seemingly not dangerous nor radical in any way, shape or form. But you have to laugh at the hypocrisy that comes out of the United Nations and its affiliate agencies like the WHO. Let's go back a couple of years and look at what happened during the pandemic, shall we? Lockdowns that uh, took away all of your freedom to even leave your home, that barely touched the spike at the time to stop the spread of COVID and has damaged our economy to the point where we've got inflation running wild. That's thanks to lockdowns, by the way. Secondly, vaccine passports. What were those? Oh, that's right. Those passports that, again, uh, proved that stopping the spread had no impact whatsoever. We just chuck out these digital IDs, capture all your data and make sure you can't attend anything if you exercise your freedom to not take the vaccine. Now, did you think it was all over? Did you? Did you think COVID was done? Do you think pandemics were done? Well, I've got some disturbing news for you because the WHO is now proposing a new COP conference. That's right. And it's not a climate one. It's one all about pandemics. If you thought it wasn't getting terrible already, the Orwellian nightmare is still beginning. Now, I've taken the liberty of reading the proposals page by page, tediously poring over those committee notes. And one of the most disturbing things that I found as a committee member is proposing that we hand lockdown powers over to the WHO. Now, that means if there's another pandemic declared, then every nation systematically can be locked down by those unelected globalist bureaucrats at the WHO. Now, Conservative ministers have been quick to turn around and tell us that that will never happen, we will protect our sovereignty as we did with Brexit, but they're not going to be in government forever, maybe not even next year. Do you trust the Labour Party to, to value your freedoms? Do you trust the Labour Party to look after your sovereignty? We must stop now to, uh, to, to tackle this Orwellian nightmare before more of our sovereignty is, is passed over to these bureaucrats who do not care at all. The government must do something. We must put some guardrails in and people must speak out about this before it's too late.